All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this is a surge protector. This is an MC6BP. I bought an antenna once and this came with the antenna. And so it is a, a surge protector, lightning arrester, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's just an end connector, a pass through end connector. And it's got some stuff inside so that if you get high voltage, like a, a, a electrical uh, arc, it will ground itself. There's a, like a spark gap in here, and you'll get you'll get a ground, uh, a, a jump on the ground. Okay, so let's take a look inside here. All right, it's got this screw here, and this just happens to fit it. There we go. So I'm going to open it up, and. Uh, we are going to see this little thing inside. So this is this is the magic thing. Now I believe this is a gas discharge tube. Um, it might just be a spark gap in there, I, I, but I believe it's a gas discharge. And um, it's interesting that it's three. There's a there's a metal layer, an insulator, a metal layer, an insulator, and metal layer. So there might be gas on this side, gas on this side, or it might just be, like I said, a spark gap. I'm not quite sure. Comment below if you think this is really a spark gap or if it's a, a gas, charge to, uh, gas discharge tube. I'm going to go with gas discharge tube. That's my guess. I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, there's just a center conductor. So we just have a uh, end connector and there's just a rod running in there. So what this is going to do is uh, when you drop when you drop this in there, it's just going to rest on that rod. So here's the center rod, and here's that pellet thing. It's just going to rest on that center rod, okay? And then this little guy here is just a little spring-loaded cap, and that just makes electrical contact to it. So yeah, there we go. So let me, uh, let me put this back together. There we go. Um, and I think to use these correctly, you put a ground wire here and you make sure that's connected to earth ground so that that's where it has somewhere to go. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, you, you, don't, can't, you can't put that in there because it's going to ruin your SWR and you're going to lose a whole bunch of power by putting these damn things in there. Um, so let's see, let's see if it really, really is lossy or not. Okay, we're going to do a transmission measurement, uh, S21. So we're going to put a uh, coax cable here with end connectors, and that's just going to uh, short the input to the output. And I just turned this thing on. And you can see this little whoop de doo here, and that's kind of where it's shifted gears inside, so we need to calibrate that out. Um, let me go ahead and do response cal, measure the standard. There we go. We've just zeroed it out. It's just it's just a zeroing function, okay? So we're set up for 1 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz, and this is 1 dB per division, okay? So uh, we are going to insert our surge protector and take a look at what it does. So there you go. Lock down our end connector nice and tight. And you can see that it's very, very small amount of ripple scale, 0.1. So it's 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 less than 0.1 dB whacking up and down, just just reflections in there and stuff. So yeah, so not don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's not gonna harm having one of these in there, okay? It's it it it's just not. All right, I'm going to use my old, uh, uh, it's a multi-function tester. It's got LCR meters and resistance stuff and it does all kinds of stuff. But one of the things it does is it has a 500 volt power supply built into it that's current limited. And I can watch it uh, come here. And if anything shorts out, we should be able to see it. So we're going to take our device. We're going to put some uh, leads on it and we're going to... Uh, use this little piece of wire here and I'm going to shove it up the uh, connector center pin of the conductor there okay so we have 
one wire going to the ground and one wire going to the center conductor and the specification says 230 volts so let's see if something magic happens at 230 volts so uh too much glare all right so uh i'm going to increase the voltage and here's 100 volts okay so it's 500 volts full scale so 100 volts 150 200 and right about there see it go whack 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 that's it and that's its current limit so right at about 250 it uh, it current limited so we're getting arcing in our uh, surge protector so that's exactly what it's supposed to be doing and it's right on spec 250 volts and uh, anything larger than that you'll get a uh, conduction to ground and there you go that's the way it protects your radio all right uh, this thing is specified up to three gigahertz um, well, I believe it would do that just fine uh, so DC to three gigahertz 50 ohms 230 volts surge protector so yeah there you go quick little video for the day